to Bed Show Boy, Curtis Seven. Welcome to episode number five of the Seven Show, lads. This episode, we're going to give our predictions for the whole Premier League teams, all 20 spots. So make sure you get comfortable because it's going to be a bit of a longer episode and uh, it's going to go into detail. So uh, welcome my guests, guys, Christopher, the big scouser himself. Say hello mm. to the people. There you go, Premier League lovers out there. <laughs> Anyways, we've got Edgar, Mr. Edgar Falcao Campos. Happy so- Falcao Day, mate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, lads, let's stop. Let's not beat around the bush anymore. It's time to it's give ready. our predictions. We've all got them here, ready. Let's get into it. All right, now, we're not going to go top four. We're going to go top six. So we're going to explain the top four and who misses out and who gets those Europa League spots. And before we start, guys, in my opinion... This is probably the hardest league ever to predict. Absolutely. Season ever. Absolutely. Sorry. I don't I can't remember a season even harder. It was probably it was way more than harder than last, last year. Season, yeah. And last season was difficult. Yeah. So definitely, definitely hard. But anyways, guys. We'll try. Alright, so Edgar, give us your top six predictions. As you guys can see him on the screen right there, as he goes along. I'm going from so give well, us one to first. Six or six to one? No, you gotta go one right. to six, mate. Number one, Chelsea. Um, they just look like a different animal. They look scary, actually. Yeah. Um, and with the transfer they brought in, they just look amazing. Diego Costa, Fabregas, and it was already a great team. They've just yeah. strengthened it yeah. everywhere. I don't think you have to go into too much detail with Chelsea. Yeah. No, nah, <laughs> we all we all know it's plain, mate. Yeah. And Man City second. Um, they're still they're still a great team, but it look it's a flip of a coin for me between Chelsea and City. Uh, Arsenal, I, don't, I just I don't think they're good enough um, to be challenging Chelsea or City as of yet. So you got them third. third. So Arsenal's third. Okay, okay, interesting. And the big one, fourth. Man United. Oh, <laughs> he's got United in the top four. Look, hey, but- <laughs> Fifth. Obviously, he hasn't been watching the last few weeks. <laughs> go on, go on. I'm like Liverpool, but Liverpool missing yes. out. But the thing for me <laughs> depends on if Liverpool progress in the Champions League. If they fall out, I think 100% they'll finish fourth. But I, I think they'll do quite well in Europe. Um, but that's not what that, you're predicting. That, you're predicting. That, that's a coin, mate. Fourth, but I'm keeping it like that. United fourth, Liverpool fifth. And in sixth position, I've got Tottenham's Hotspurs. Not bad, not bad, Edgar. Thanks for the predictions. Uh, we all know how difficult it is. Oh, yeah. We never know. You're right. Oh, We're yeah. laughing at you now. It backfire, but... Exactly. Exactly, exactly. All right, Chris, you're up next. Chris is on the screen there. He's top six, as you guys can see as well. Hit me with your top six, Chris. Well, I got um, I got, <coughs> I got City to win the league. City to yeah. win the league. The only reason I've, it was a toss up as well between City and yeah. Chelsea for me. The, the only reason I've gone with City is because I think that if 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 Diego Costa goes down, which he, he's prone to go down a little bit or get suspended, it's something stupid. I think they're going to miss him a lot. Hmm. And City have maybe the the better the better um, squad all round. Um, I've got Chelsea. As I said, it was a toss up. Chelsea to finish second. And who you got finishing third? I got Liverpool. Liverpool to finish finish third. Yep. Just because basically, oh, I'm happy with the squad they ha- that they have now. Um, they're a different beast with Balotelli up there. You could see from the Tottenham game that um, he's going to be very. He's going to keep. He's going to keep um, a lot of space for Sterling and Sturridge and, and Rogers. Yeah, sorry. yeah. Rogers, you say? No, he, no. I said Balotelli's going to oh, leave Balotelli. a lot of space for Sterling and oh, okay. Sturridge to work in. Yeah, and yeah. It, it looked it looked brilliant against um against Tottenham. Yeah. Um, I think I think Arsenal will pip for fourth. The only so fourth I, spot Arsenal. Yeah, That's the big talking point. The only reason, the, the main reason I'm picking Arsenal is because they're always there. Yeah, yeah. they're always finishing fourth. Doesn't doesn't matter what Wenger does. I reckon so he'll play with the... eight year old girls and he'll finish fourth. <laughs> It's it's what he does. Uh, Seventeen years in a row, you you can't knock that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drop him out of the top four just for, uh, on 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 no basis. Um, I think I think Spurs are gonna finish fifth. Whoa. Um, Tottenham, Pochettino are gonna get his men. Yeah, I don't. Firing. I can't see him getting into the top four just because of the strike force mm. they have. I think it's gonna be very close between. That's what happened two years ago. Spurs just missed out to Arsenal for yeah, fourth I think, spot. I think, I think it'll happen again. 
Uh, and I've got I've got United in sixth. Six. But I, I want to say that I think United, if they can stick around the top four by January, I think they could they could finish a lot higher than sixth. It just depends on how they strengthen in January if they can get Vidal in and maybe a, a, a Hummels or someone Stick like me. that. If they can stick to stick around the top four. Yeah. But they can't. They can't. United can't fall. Too far off the pace as they are at the moment. Yeah, already. Already. All right, guys. Time for me to give my predictions. Top six champions for me for this season, lads. It's just... For me, it's not even close for me, honestly. I reckon Chelsea have just are going to romp this in. Honestly. Oh, in my opinion, I don't think it's going to be close. Last season, City won in a close contest with Liverpool and Chelsea. Hmm. Mourinho won't let that happen again Mourinho If anyone did the best business In this summer It was Chelsea yeah. They went bang, bang, bang Mourinho said Alright Fabregas, Diego Costa Everyone we need Kurt Zuma that, You know Felipe Luiz They had all their Their signings basically done That's how you do a window mate Mate And mate Mourinho He's had them trained All pre-season For me It's not even a close contest City will win I mean Chelsea will win the league Second spot, you guys might find this surprising. I've gone with Liverpool Ooh, to finish second. Wow, S- goosebumps, man! <laughs> <laughs> I think Brendan Rodgers, what he has done is yeah. unbelievable. And it, 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 honestly, I'm a United fan. I hate saying this, but I speak the truth. He has bought well, and he hasn't just bought well. They're playing well. And everyone tipped them because they're going to make Champions League. They're just going to fall out of top four. I think the differ. With Champions League, Fergie, he used to use it as um, very much like a Capital One Cup game where he used to play the kids, play the, the people that weren't getting games. Because let's be real, unless you've got someone big in your group, which you do Real Madrid, I don't think the other teams, due, all due respect to them, are nothing to, to be concerned about. I think Liverpool, not saying to put your reserves in, but I still reckon they're not going to be as bad as it you know, originally first four. He's bought incredibly well. And that's all I was waiting for, to see what uh, players Brendan Rodgers bought. With Balotelli in there, uh, Emre Khan, uh, Ken, or Chan, or whatever you say his name. Sterling just looks amazing. Hi. Henderson's progressing. Mate, you've shored up that defence. Mate, you got um, uh, Lovren at the back. Moreno looks good. And that, what's his name, Mariello? Mankio. You know, uh, Brendan Rodgers, mate, he has done some wonderful, wonderful things. For me, just the, the difference between Chelsea and Liverpool's business is Chelsea's already bought well-known stars and they should do the job while Liverpool's Ch- bought into potential, which well, could backfire but could turn yeah, out absolutely the, fantastic. So the difference for me is Chelsea have an open checkbook. Yeah, Liverpool realistic well. on a budget, mm-hmm. you know. Clubs like that have to do that. You know, so uh, that's why I reckon Liverpool are going to finish second. Third, I've got City coming in third spot. For me, all right, they've won the league last season. We all know that. But they did their absolutely best to try and lose that league, yeah. and they didn't lose it, you know. That's true. Um, City, for me, haven't even really strengthened. All right, they got Bakary Sanya. They didn't need a right back, but they got one. Very much like Falcao to United. Didn't need him, but they got one. <laughs> they needed to shore up that f- defence. And I don't think they really did. They did get Mangala, but he's unknown. What if company goes down? You're going to have Di Michalis and you're going to have uh, Mangala at the back there. Nastasic as well, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. Did they get rid of him in the end? I'm not too sure. For me, City... And for me, Pellegrini isn't good enough. He's just tactically... Too many times he gets out um, outplayed by so many teams, but because he's got Aguero coming off the bench, yeah. saves his ass so many times. Just have to look at that Liverpool game. Have a look at that Stoke game on the weekend. I think City will finish third. Hope you're right. Fourth spot. Here we go. The famous fourth spot. I have United yeah. sneaking into fourth spot, only because of one thing. Arsenal and Arsene Wenger. That's why I think United are going to finish fourth and Arsenal won't finish in the top four this year. Oh, wow. I predicted that last year. I'm (laughs) predicting it again this year. Arsene Wenger needed to shore up that defence, a holding midfielder and an out-and-out striker. And he kind of bought Chambers in defence. No one in that defensive role. And he bought Danny Wilbeck, 
who's not going to win them a league title anytime soon. Mate, they, for me, for me, needed to go out and get an out-and-out striker. Yeah. All summer long, the start of the summer, they were linked to Bellatelli. Didn't happen. <laughs> well, I don't know what happened there. Then they were linked to Remy. They, they scuffed up on that chance. And in the end, they had the chance to go and get, who was for sale, as we all know, Falcao. How Arsenal let United get Falcao is unbelievable. Yeah. My opinion, they had no plans whatsoever to buy on the transfer deadline day. They only bought Wilbeck because they thought, holy shit, we have to do something now. We thought we were going to make top four. United's just gone and bought Falcao. Um, um, oh, they don't need Wilbeck anymore. We'll just go get Wilbeck. Mate, for me, bad, bad business. What if Alexis Sanchez goes down up front? You know, Giroud's already out for four or five months. What if Danny Wilbeck gets injured tomorrow? What happens then to Arsenal? For me, they don't have a big enough squad or a good enough squad for Champions League Mm -hmm. and to finish in the top four Premier League. That's my prediction for uh, the top five. Sixth spot, I got... No, I got Arsenal fifth. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, Arsenal fifth. And Yeah, so Arsenal fifth. Sixth spot, I got Tottenham. I just think Tottenham... They're going to be there, thereabouts. They'll be inconsistent as they always are. But I think Pochettino will get them on the rise. They'll get them gelled together. This time next season, Pochettino will know which players he wants out, which players, you know, he wants in. So come this time next season for Tottenham, I think they'll be so much better. But uh, that's our prediction, guys, for the top six. What do you guys think? You can... Well, let's all talk about well, our top six. The thing I like is that we all have different, very different predictions. Yeah, yeah. Ex- so, I think we've all got City and Chelsea yeah. on top for our predictions. Yeah, so we've got a good blend there. Yeah. I think I'm the only one who put Liverpool second. Yeah. I'm the highest one. What do you think of that? Oh, that's very interesting, but um, yeah, it could definitely happen. Could definitely well, you got Liverpool finishing fifth. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah that's what I mean. It's a yeah, matter it's of a, opinion. Give, give, give us opinions. They'd be sitting on the fence. Give us opinions here. In terms of Liverpool. Liverpool second, it can it can definitely happen. They've got a good squad, but um, I just personally I don't sit in that fence. What do you reckon? I don't see it happening. <laughs> see it happening. Uh, yeah, well, you tell us why it's not going to happen. I, I explained it before. I just think that they want to do well in mm. Europe, and I don't know. I just can't see Sterling and Sturridge holding it the entire season. But then again, it could happen. Baltelli as well. Mate, anything could happen. So yeah. you can't keep saying it could happen. It could yeah. happen. Anything could happen. Oh, that's the thing. We're, we're playing with a lot of what ifs. We want, yeah. you know. Oh, but yeah. This, but this is the whole thing. Predictions. Yeah. Yeah. Predictions are not what ifs. Predictions that this is going to happen. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Am I crazy? Am I losing? The, am I losing the plot? I just, I just realised <laughs> that I like you a lot more than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> nah. nah, seriously. Can, can we finish second? Uh, absolutely, man. If Balotelli takes off, like he's got the talent to take to potential to, to yeah, yeah. potential, even Sterling. I don't see why any of the City, Chelsea, or Liverpool couldn't win the league. You know, I just. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, think, I, I think Liverpool, even Liverpool, I think they're gonna. Pit, they're not. They're in the Champions League, but they're not in the Champions League to win to win yeah. the competition. Liverpool still is striving for that Premier League title. Yeah, you exactly. know, so that, that's where they're going to. And as well, I, I I think as well that um, Man City do want to do very well in the Champions League. Mm-hmm. That's, that's why. That's, that's why. Never conquered, so. That's why I've got City yeah. finishing but third. Yeah, so that's great thinking on your behalf. <laughs> I got City finishing third and not first or, or second, really. Hmm. You pick City you've to win a yeah, title. You've also got to look at the group stage. Uh, City's group in the cha- in the Champions League is very, very tough. Yeah, they might not go through. They've the never Champions had League. an easy group, have they? No, they've had a they ch- get ch- slammed every Chelsea, year. Chelsea, on the other hand, they could play their reserves oh, team and man. go through. Yeah, they got a lucky um, draw. That's what they do all, every I year. I think City. Hmm. Um, I think City. If they, if they do get knocked out of the Champions League early, because they got Munich, Moscow, and another tough team. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, if the, I think it's, God, that's right. Yes, it is. If they if they do get kicked out of the Champions League, which is a possibility, that they all their all their eggs going in the in the Premier League again. So, yeah. who knows? It's it it is hindsight, you know. It's 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 hard to say. It's, it's a wonderful yeah. thing. It's a wonderful thing. All right, guys, that's enough for the top four, top six. Give us our uh, relegation battle. Who you think is going to go down, and then we'll fill in the middle teams in between that as well. Our mid-table clubs. All right, Edgar, give us. The three teams to go down and give us the teams that are just going to survive. Yeah. Uh, so in 20th, I've got Burnley. 
Yep. Um, I just don't think they have a good enough squad to compete. Um, I think that every game they're just going to try to do their best. They might get a win here and there, but I just don't think they have quality at all, mm-hmm. apparently. Um, I've got QPR. I reckon they're going to flop. So 19th QPR? Yep. Yep. Um, especially playing free at the back. Well, we play free at the back, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ferdinand, Cork and Dunn. It's just, nah, it's not going to cut it. And They I'm, did buy well. Let's yeah, yeah, I know. Crunky um, has back. Yeah, we'll see, man. But um, I just don't rate QPR. Um, and I've got a surprise one, maybe, to you guys. Uh, West Brom. West Brom. Mm, okay, interesting. To interesting. just... Lose out to Crystal Palace and Leicester. So it's Crystal Palace stay up and yep. Leicester so, stay up. Yep. So Wilfred's like, how's going to keep him alive, just, huh? Just in <laughs> All right, Chris, give uh, us... I've got, this, I've got uh, Burnley at the foot of the table uh, as well. As so you got Burnley to get relegated? Yeah. Burnley to finish last. Um, I've got Palace to finish second last. Because yep. the only reason I've picked Palace is because um, Warnock. Yeah. He's just got that... Funny guy. He keeps getting relegated. <laughs> Poor bloke. You, you love the look of the bloke, but he, he looks like my grandmother. <laughs> he's, he's, keen cartoon character, man. Uh, he's keen as mustard, isn't he? Yeah, and I've got I've got I've got Leicester to go down as well. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I know I've said it, if you remember the previous episodes, I've said QPR's gonna go down. You have. I've got him just outside the relegation zone because of the fact that they did buy yes. um pretty well in the in the last couple of days. I think uh Crenshaw and Sandro will shore up their midfield a lot and they yeah. help them. I've got uh, and I've got Stoke. Uh, also, as well. just Stoke. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, interesting. Ooh. All right, for me, hundred percent getting relegated and coming last. I think we feel sorry for Burnley lads because <laughs> they're going straight down. For me, that was the easiest team to pick for us. I know it's it's sad they haven't got off to a great start, so I think that's why. I could easily pick them to finish last, but just because the they haven't started well. We've all just looked at the ladder and said, <laughs> even though just be, uh, drew with the Man United. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, you never know. Um, so, you picked... Um, QPR. QPR. You said you might be surprised. You might be surprised that I picked West Brom to finish even lower Ooh. and finish second last. <laughs> Definitely, I reckon. Just because this relegation for me, it was harder. Not because yeah. which team's going down, but which team's going to stay. It was harder for me. So, mm. unfortunately, West Brom fans, I just had to... Couldn't fit you in to survive. Mm. So, uh, I think the other teams around you have bought a lot better than you have. All right, you've got Wisdom and Lescott, but I just can't see that defence holding up yeah. against many teams. But um, And also, I've got Crystal Palace to go down like Chris. Mm. Neil Warnock... Grew. I was about to say great manager, but he's not. <laughs> um, if they had a had um, what's his name there, uh, Tony Pulis, manager. I would have had I would have had Crystal Palace easily mid table. But for me, Neil Warnock just knows how to get relegated. He just knows how to get the job done. For me, I just can't see. I just can't see Crystal Palace surviving another season, especially if they have the season they did last season mm. where it just went really, really bad at the first half of the season without Tony Pulis. I think it could happen again. But surviving... Are you setting me up, Edgar? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> PFA manager of the year, Tony Pulis. All right. Uh, just surviving on the skin of their teeth is QPR like Ooh, you. Okay. I've got QPR 17th, great mind things alike. <laughs> and I've got above them Leicester. Cause uh, I think they've, I've, I think they have bought decent this season. So uh, I think less, and they look decent too. They're a very they, positive team. They are. So uh, mm-hmm. they played well against Chelsea a few weeks ago, and mate, they held Arsenal to a draw last week. Mm-hmm. I think Leicester, they got you know things to look forward yeah, to. Something about them. All right, um, what are your thoughts on that? I think we've all got pretty much very similar teams down we the have, bottom. I'm surprised we've all got. Yeah, very similar teams down there. I've got West Brom to finish a little bit higher. Yeah. The only reason I have QPR in second last is because I think as a new promoter team, you have to be able to defend well. And I just don't think they can. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a fair point. I can't really say much about that. Um, all right, let's go talk about the mid-table club. So after six onwards, we've all got our top six. Let's go seventh all the way to the relegation zone, Edgar. And uh, you just read them out quickly. Cool. i got seventh Everton. Yep. Eighth, Newcastle, ninth Swansea, uh, tenth Aston Villa, eleven Hull, twelfth Stoke. Actually, actually, I think there's a better way to do this one. Sorry, because 
I, I can't remember your top. Your, the, all you got seventh, eight right now. Let's talk about together one by one no, who no. we got finishing in seventh position. Like Everton. Okay, you got Everton. I've got Everton. I've got Everton. So Everton Ooh. guaranteed seven. Done. All right. So um, yeah, I think no complaints there. Great minds think alike, brothers. All right, in eighth position, lads. The Geordies, Newcastle. Ooh, that's interesting. Interesting. Roy Keane's Villa. Oh, oh, Aston Villa, so nice. high at the table. Nice. Tom Cleverley is going to get the job done for Cruz. <laughs> I've got Swansea finishing in eighth position. Oh. I think this year they don't have Europa League to contend with. Gary Monk's got a much squ- a smaller squad, but bringing so much quality mm. into the team. Sigurdsson, Dyer looks all right. <clears throat> they bought Gomez. I think Swansea are going to be all right. That's why I got them finishing in eighth position. Well. So I just want to ask, um, you got Newcastle in eighth position. Mm. Mate, I, I just I don't see that, man. I yeah. really think I don't think that at all. I just think Newcastle. Um, actually, you give me a reason why you think they're going to finish eighth so high at the table for them. I just Newcastle always just sit around that area. They they somehow get it clicking. Here they got and relegated there. like four yeah, five years ago. <laughs> a lot of but, it's probably got to do with because it's Newcastle. Yeah, you think it's, it's you look at it's, you think a big club, yeah, a big, big club, big, big club. You think Newcastle. Yeah. You know, you're going to put them, automatically going to put them higher on the yeah. table, yeah, so. All right, let's go to ninth. Swansea. Okay, very similar to me. Yeah. Chris? I've gone for Hull. They oh, have bought wow. extremely well, that's, and I can yeah, really see why well. you've gone with that. And I, and I think that's, yeah, that's fair. Because they've got kicked out of Europa. Yeah, that's going to help. Otherwise, I'd probably have them 15th or something. But yeah. because they've got kicked out of Europa, and they've bought a, a couple of good players. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can see. I, I was so... There was a group of like five teams where I just really mm. couldn't, you know, I judged them by their signings, mm. yeah. which is not a great thing to do, but I just had to. In ninth position, I reckon they sold a lot of players, but man, they've bought well, Southampton. Ooh. I think they've bought well. I know I've been a bit generous there, Ooh. but I reckon, mate, I reckon they look all right, man. Yeah, they, they look do. good. They look good. But that's just yeah, my cool. opinion. All right, 10th mid, mid-table mid club. Oh, right, you've got Villa this time. I got Southampton in tenth, so I'm not far off you, Curtis. I think, <laughs> I think Southampton's but well. Yeah, Plus they, they, and they had a big win um, recently. Yeah, this week they beat. I can't West, remember, Ham. West Ham three one away. Three right? one at at at, at, at Upton, Upton Park, Park. Upton Park. And, and they looked good. So Cumin, maybe he's going to do the job for yeah. them. Yeah, in tenth I've got West Ham. That's why I've got Southampton <laughs> above them. Yeah, I think they've bought well. I think, mate, Alex Song. And they managed to hold on to Carlton Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Big, 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 right? Mate, they've got Inner Valencia. Once he's fit and he gets going, I reckon he could be all right. Zarate. Yeah. They've bought well. If Sam Allardyce can get them gelling well, Andy Carroll's yet to come back, if he ever comes back, because I don't know about Andy Carroll, man. Oh, I really don't know. Yeah. All right, 11th position. Whole City. Yep. I've got Newcastle. you got Newcastle. Yeah. I've got Hull City as well. So, um, yeah, I, th- I can see that mm. there's nothing out of the ordinary there. All right, in 12? Stoke City. <laughs> I'm laughing because I've got Stoke as well in 12. <laughs> i got Sunderland in 12. Okay, okay then. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think Sunderland supporters will take that. Oh, mate, you're, oh, yeah, you're, 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 the, um, you're the highest one that's picked Sunderland in 12th yeah. position there. We haven't picked them yet, mm. so... I don't know, I think Poyet's going to continue just a bit of momentum from last season. Yeah, mate, that... Um, yeah, started not bad. I think they're sitting in about ninth or tenth. So yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thirteenth. Southampton. Okay then. West Brom. I got West Brom there. Ooh, you oh. got them really high at the table. You made them thirteenth. Not really high at the <laughs> table, but yeah. Oh, for them, or well, considering yeah. we've got them in the relegation zone. Yeah. Mm. I've gone with Sunderland. Uh, in thirteenth spot. Fourteenth spot. I've got West Ham. Ooh, you got them right down. God, so you don't you're in the same frame as up mind as me. Me, me. <laughs> okay, I've gone for Swansea. You're not going to be happy, but I've gone for Swansea oh, to wow. finish lower. And no. so. I think they've started well, like very well, but I think it's going to peter out, and I think they're going to struggle. Yeah, yeah. Well, you guys, this is probably the biggest shock for the mid-table clubs. You probably haven't noticed yet. I've got 14 spot Newcastle. Wow. And you and he, right. and trust me, he's a big Newcastle man. Who <laughs> me? You love Newcastle. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I've yeah, always yeah. Thought, thought, I've always <laughs> tried to tell him that Newcastle was going to get relegated, and he's always telling me they're going to finish top four. <laughs> yeah. We had a bet, man, Chris. I was oh, on the Newcastle shit. side; he was on the Aston Villa side. But yeah, um, for me, like you said, everyone says Newcastle, big club, you know, massive stadium, mate. Just because of their history, you just got to look at the current state of this squad. Very much like United, you don't worry about history. Look at the current squad. Look at the current manager, mate. They are they are forever in need of a new centre back, and on transfer deadline day, what do they do? They Yanga go and Biwa. sell Yanga and Biwa to Roma, mm. mate. And they need an out and out striker. They got um, what's his Rivier. For me, mate, he's not their number one striker to replace Remy. He was there, you know, to help um, come into the squad because they got rid of Shola Amiobi. They needed an out and out striker. If that's that's why I could have believed all the rumours Danny Wilbeck was going to Newcastle. For me, that makes sense. To see Pardew didn't spend any money up forward other than Riviere, and they got rid of a few strikers. Man, I think that's going to cost them right down the guts, man. The midfield, the forwards, and defence. I think Newcastle, I don't like to say it, but I think they're really going to struggle this season. Mm. They've got an ageing Colachini in defence. They've got Williamson and they've got Steven Taylor. Those are, That's their centre-backs. Mm. Yeah. It, like, pff, mate, God help them. God help Newcastle. <laughs> I feel sorry for But they've got the ginger peel, though, so it's all good. That is the best uh, buy. Back. That is the best buy they've got. Mate, Colback and Sissoko. Yeah, I said midfield. They don't really need a midfield, do they? Mm. More, they got got, um, what's his name? Um... Who they boy that looks alright? Pretty boy with the yeah. You look actually, he looks shit. Man. Oh, Cabela. Yeah, he needs confidence. He's only if you know it's what two, th- two, three games into the Premier League. Yeah, Remy Cabela, yeah. Yeah, you never know. Mm. Uh, all right, so who we got in fifteenth? Fleds. Sunderland, I believe. So you got Sunderland fifteenth? Yeah, Sunderland. I got oh. West Ham, fellas. West okay, Ham. I've got Aston Villa. Oh, well. Yeah. Down there. Well, I don't think they've bought incredibly well. Mm. Who they've really bought? Roy Keane. Yes. Yeah, they got Roy Keane. Yes, that's probably their best signing. Uh, sure. <laughs> um, but Kieran Richardson, um, Carlos Sanchez. They got Tom Cleverley. Um, what about what about if Benteke comes back and can find his form again? Yeah. Right? Chris is a massive Benteke fan. I am a Benteke. <laughs> Benteke's a big, big, big Benteke. He's yeah. a massive Benteke fan. Uh, I don't know Benteke. For me, very similar to Papa Cisse. Came in the Premier League, hit the Premier League by a storm, and everyone thought, "Holy hell, man! This guy's the next big thing." Nah, I just nah. He just had a great season, momentum. Similar to Lukaku, though. Oh, no. uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I'll, I'll rate Lukaku. Man. Yeah, oh, I, don't know. I don't, man. I think he's. I think Lukaku's. I don't. I, how can I say? I don't rate Lukaku highly. I don't think he's gonna have. I don't think he's gonna be the drug bar that everyone expects him to be. I just expect him to be solid. I expect him to be a Peter Crouch. You know, you can you can rely on him for those kind of goals. For me, Peter Crouch is a reliable striker, or was. You know, he, he was, was good, he he wasn't he wasn't your Didier Drogba, but he was solid. Like Peter Crouch, Peter Crouch could keep the ball at his feet a lot better than Lukaku so, can. So, at average, how many goals a season does Lukaku get for you two guys? Uh, I think he, uh, he, he just Premier League. Yeah, Premier League. I think he gets ten this season. Yeah, I was going to say ten to fifteen, and that's not enough for a twenty-eight million oh, pounds. For me, for me, the fifteen plus kind of striker. <laughs> Has he got 10, one? 15, 10 to fifteen. Has he got one yet? Uh, I think so. No, I don't think so. No, no. I don't think, I'm not too sure. It maybe he does. No, I don't I, think he I does. I see he's struggling at the moment to get the ball to stick. He's it's just like he's out of touch. And yeah, Na- Naismith's playing five oh. times better than he is. Yeah, and did you see that goal from Eto? Oh, what a hitter, mate! Eto was just unbelievable. Eto, yeah. um, he would have loved that. Yeah, unbelievable. Oh, uh, yeah, he would have loved that. So that's about it. Oh, 16th, who you guys got? I think we've said this yeah, before. Stoke. Stoke. So you got Stoke. I got Leicester, and yeah, oh yeah, Leicester. Yeah, so... Um, that's all the predictions. That's pretty much predictions for the teams. Let's, else, let's, let's, let's go with Golden Boots. Let's go with Golden Boot. I'll go first, Diego Costa. Yeah. God, that's a fair start. You can predict it too. Use what humming and uh, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go Studge. <laughs> Diego Costa with Sturridge just behind him. Yeah, oh, Diego Good Costa. Good strike for us, Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Diego Costa, um, 
if he can stay fit, if he can stay fit, yeah. because yeah. that's the big question. Well, Sturridge is the same. Yeah, Sturridge is the same. Falcao's the same. Yeah, yeah, Van Persie, Aguero, he's never fit too. Well, <laughs> Maybe Jovetic as Actually, well. Actually, yeah. What about Nick Gray? They've got a big no. loss for Wow. Wow. That, I feel the same way. I think he's a great player. Yeah, oh, I would have him every day over the week over Dzeko, personally. I think, all right, he probably hasn't got my, as much class on the ball. But, man, he knows how to find the back of the yeah, net. Yeah, hell yeah. He's quality. Yeah, no? Quality. Yeah. So, I think uh, there's only an injury that kept him out all season. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, not so sure. Who's scoring goals for fun? Goals. Oh, yeah, first time of the season. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's go for the PFA Player of the Year. Player, <laughs> player of the Year. Not Manager of the Year, Tony Pure. Yeah, That's yeah, Player yeah. of the player Year. Player of the Year. Uh, cool. Cool. I was about to say just the same thing. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was just, just about to say it as well. I'm going to go Yaya. Because I've predicted City to finish top, I'm going to go Yaya. All right. So, Edgar's, Edgar predicted Fabregas, so I can't go with that. Um, just talk, guys. I'm going to think for just two seconds. Um, I'm thinking Fabregas. Oh, 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 Fabregas yeah, just, just, just That's an easy that. choice. Nah, I can't pick Fabregas. Well, no easy yeah. choices. That's a tip, man. Yeah, I know. No easy choices. Save your cow. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I am going to go out of the blue, Ooh. and United fans are going to hate me for this. I don't say, no. <laughs> I'm going to go Raheem Sterling. Okay, cool. Cool. Raheem Sterling, young player and player of the year. Just because I've predicted Liverpool to finish second, they're going to have a successful season. And, mate, Raheem Sterling, mate, he just can't do no wrong. I think, I think Curtis wants me to buy him dinner. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> Seriously, the lad, I, I'm a big I'm a big uh, fan of young English players. And at the minute, for me, Number Raheem one. Sterling is not just the best English young player, probably the best young player of the world at the minute for his uh, age. A lot of people are saying that. Like, I think Raheem Sterling, no one can really hold a candle to him yeah, that's probably fair. worldwide. Mm. And I think, mate, if he has a successful season and Liverpool do too... Mate, this, he's got big things planned for him. So, um, oh, that's massive. So, Young Player of the Year awards? Yeah, I've got, I've, I've yeah. got Sterling as Young yeah. Player of the Year. Yeah. Okay, so. Absolutely. Sorry, I'm really biased there. <laughs> I'm biased there. I think he's brilliant. Young Player of the Year, I'm going to go with James Wilson from United. Ooh. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Um, what about assist? Assist, Fabregas. Fabi. Is no, there's no. Yeah. Who's that? Who can get this? David Silva, Di Maria, Angel Di Maria. Um, anyways, let's get on to any. Let's something interesting, all right? PFA Manager of the Year. Ten <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with Mourinho. How does that Mourinho? Yeah. Yeah. You win the title, you'll get it done, Mourinho. Yeah, Mourinho or Rogers, football coin for me. Yeah. I'm hoping it's Warnock, man. <laughs> 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 back oh. to back from Palace. All right, let's get on to something interesting, lads. Yes. First manager to get sacked. Warnock, man. Come on, they just avoided <laughs> him. They just. <gasps> uh, it's happened. Look at the Canyo. That's not. Ooh, what about Louis Van <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, mate. If, if he uh, wanted to, he's gone a great way about it. <laughs> uh, hmm. what, what ball fall down there? Um, Redknapp. Oh, you can hear yeah, that. Yeah, can hear Redknapp. Nah, I don't think they can. Uh, he's proven quality for me. I don't think. Not just blowing you out the water there, but um, who do you reckon? Uh, I'd have to get Warnock. I'm gonna go with um, Lambert from Aston Villa. Ooh. Yeah. Roy Keane's going to take it. Yeah, you, you called that. Yeah, I called that. And I'm calling it again. Uh, what else predictions, lads, for this season? Golden Gloves. Oh, yeah, Golden There's Gloves. There's goalkeeper. Courtois. Yeah. <laughs> it's all Chelsea, Chelsea for me. Chelsea, Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. You think You think clean sheets. Chelsea, man. They're yeah. Just... Yeah, I'll go Courtois as well. Yeah, Courtois. If he can stay in goals, who knows? Yeah. Well, you can't predict uh, Peter Cech. I mean, um, yeah. Mourinho. You, we could be seeing Peter Cech from now on, you know? So, <laughs> if it's not Chelsea, who would you just go with? That's an interesting call. Probably Chesney. Because I, I think Arsenal get a lot of... They do get 
a few day, day clean sheets. I think he won it last year, the year before. Nah, I reckon. I I think honestly think quite the opposite, mate. Arsenal are terrible. Maybe they def- they can't defend to save their life. No, I have to hate to say, it, but yeah, probably Mignolet. Yeah, I think Liverpool's nah, I think solidified they, a bit. Liverpool score more than the opposition. Mm. I think. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. This clean sheet you got was your first, first clean sheet nine. in nine games. Nine or ten. Yeah, I don't think games. you can get Golden Glove. Um, I'm gonna probably have to go with if it wasn't Courtois. It's only Tottenham though. But. Yeah, Hugo Lloris, man. He's quality keeper. Quality keeper, Hugo. Hugo Lloris um, What else is there To predict lads um, uh, Can you see Any big transfers Coming in January mm. I think United Will go for Vidal yeah, Vidal I, I know you said Vidal But I, I reckon know. we'll get Strootman I reckon we'll be in For Strootman I, I, Another knee Rico man Coming back <laughs> uh, Victor Valdez I think Liverpool yeah. Are going to sign yeah. Liverpool going to sign Victor Valdez Yep yep You'll know so, a lot about that Um all right, lads, predict the biggest flop. Biggest player. Flop. To flop. Yeah. High expectations, and they're just not going to deliver. Who do you reckon is that going to be? That's, that's a difficult, difficult task because there's so many. Um, Rom. <laughs> Who? Romelu Lukaku. Ah, uh, okay. All right, then. Yeah, yeah, you called that. That's a good one. Biggest flop for me, I know Edgar's won already. He's going to say Lambert, but... Yeah. <laughs> for me, biggest flop... Uh, that's a tough one. Um, there's so... There's, I was going to say there's so many choices. There's not really... Yeah, I don't know. Who's going to flop? Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. You get one, because I don't, I don't mind. Probably Brian Kirkich. Gee, he's struggling. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, he had a killer preseason, so I thought he'd absolutely dominate. But, um, well, look, he can't even get in the squad at the moment. Well, well, starting, but um, yeah, it just doesn't. Bojan doesn't look at it at all. He, he, yeah, he, he. Oh, he did he come off the bench on the weekend? Yeah, actually, no, he wasn't in the squad. I believe. Oh, he wasn't even in the squad. No. Was he injured? I'm not sure, but um, I know he came off the bench in the previous game. Yeah. For Wheeling. What about Soldado? <laughs> yeah. What about yeah. Lucas Sanchez? What do you reckon about that one? Uh, I don't think he'll flop, but I don't think he'll be a big hit as what everyone's predicting. Um, all right, what about your best transfer? Who's going to be the best transfer in that will do the best, make the biggest impact? Yeah, who is the best transfer of the summer? Uh, maybe for me, I'd say I'm I'm happy that with Liverpool's got Lallana. I'm happy with Lallana. I think he's going to do, do well for you talk, I'm talking about out of all teams, out of oh, all out players. Of all. For me, call me biased, I'm just going to have to go Di Maria. Yeah. I think what he brings to the table for United, what we need creativity-wise, I think it's money well spent. Yeah, flip a coin between Di Maria and Seth Fabregas. I hate to just keep harping on about Chelsea, but I rate him, man. Yeah, they look good. They look good. You, Chris? Yeah, I think Fabregas. Fabregas is excellent signing for Chelsea. Yeah, I think he's going to be... Um, you can see it already. I mean, I thought he wasn't going to do this well, but you can just see it. He's unbelievable. Yeah, he looks like the old Fabregas that was at Arsenal. Just fantastic. Yeah. My biggest flop, I didn't answer this before, was probably going to be Mangala from City. Actually, Frank Lampard. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I think that wraps it up, lads, for this episode for our predictions. I've heard you guys like our predictions, or maybe you didn't. And if you didn't, yeah. get your comments down below. Right, Edgar, Chris, or Curtis, who has got their predictions spot on? I'd like to hear that. And, but I'd like to hear your thoughts as well. So get yeah. your predictions as well. That's going to be interesting as well. So anyways, lads, that's going to come to the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You can follow these boys on Twitter. Their links are in the description. So make sure you go and do that. By the way, lads, before we go, footy tipping. Don't forget, Edgar had a shocking week. He got two. I had a shocking week. I got three. Chris did all right. He got four. But Chris now, as you can see on the screen there, is only one tip behind Edgar. And I'm just running away with this thing. I just think this is all right. I'm not bad at this tipping game. But anyways, lads, that's the end of this episode. We'll see you next week. Take care and peace.